Today's verse comes from Romans chapter 8, verse 18, where it says, For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. The writer of this verse is Apostle Paul. And I love this verse because there were many times in my life where I looked at my suffering as unbearable. But first of all, we know that our story doesn't end here. Our hope doesn't even end here, here on planet Earth. We receive hope. We receive His peace, love, and joy. But heaven is our destination where there will be no suffering anymore. Well, first of all, when you have that perspective, we could say, yeah, but I don't even know what it looks like and, and it doesn't make my day better today. Well, let me tell you something that may. Our current suffering here for me, as an example, having no arms and legs. You know maybe the story about how I met other limbless people around the world. And I love to share about how God created me. And I prayed that he would actually give me arms and legs. But what if God's plan was that he would use me the way that I am to encourage other limbless people, for example, to know that God loves them, that God has a plan and heaven's waiting for them too. Can you imagine that one hug in heaven where I hug a limbless person who's crying in heaven, hugs me with their new arms, and I hug them with my new arms, and they're crying, I'm crying, they say, thank you for helping me believe that this place called heaven was real. Now imagine my 90 years of suffering in this present time with no arms and no legs compared to the glory that we will feel and praise God for that moment that God didn't give Nick Vujicic a miracle to have arms and legs, but we all saw how God used our circumstances and our present suffering for a glory which hasn't been revealed yet. I thank God that so far I have no arms and legs. If he gives me arms and legs, awesome. If he doesn't give me arms and legs, I know that there's a greater glory that will be revealed. I love you. Take courage, my friend.